Hey friends, my name is Oliver. Today I'm going to help you edit your podcast faster in Logic Pro X. So on my channel I like to get right into it with no BS. I'm going to give you four things to help you edit faster in Logic when you're editing a podcast without losing effectiveness. And that's going to be leveraging the marquee tool in your actual edit window, adding a quick key to the delete and move feature which doesn't have a quick key assigned naturally in Logic, removing help tags to keep them from blocking your view when you're doing these fast and intense edits, as well as adding Verispeed to your workflow to help you scrub through things faster when you're looking for errors to omit. Before we jump into it, I just want to say this is really, really effective on your first pass through a raw recording of a podcast. This is for removing ums and coughs and errors, the types of things that you do first before you do all the other things to a podcast. So in this example, we're going to have just two lines of audio synced up, the host and the guest, and we scrub through and by using the marquee tool, adding the delete and move quick key, adding Verispeed with a quick key and removing those help tags. With just those four things, your editing will get so much faster if you use Logic in the native settings that come with the app. So here we are in Logic Pro X and this is an already edited podcast but I'm going to use it for the sake of this tutorial and just show you a little section where there's kind of a back and forth of dialogue between the host and the guest. And so these four little tips help making the first pass rough edit so much faster. So the first thing you're going to do is enable the delete and move quick key. Delete move is an excellent feature like a ripple delete in Premiere Pro. It doesn't work the exact same way but it's really, really helpful in podcast editing. So come to key commands, hit edit, and then we're gonna query for delete and move. And you see there's no quick key assigned to it. So say learn, click learn by key position, and I hit command tilde. Boom. And since Logic has already done this one before, it doesn't tell me about the conflict right away where you might get an error message saying, hey, this is set to something lower priority. Just accept it, that's totally fine. And then when you come down into your timeline, let's scrub through and find some ums to delete and I'll show you how this works. About a year or two be, uh, after that. So the uh after that is right there. So to get to your marquee tool, either grab it up here, which is sliding all the way down to there to hit marquee, or you can hit T R for the quick key there. And here's something that's gonna happen to you. You're gonna try to grab it, but multiple issues are happening. First of all, snapping is on, which make it hard to be precise, and there's this really, really annoying dialog box. So let's deal with both of those. Snapping's right up here. Turn it off. And then go into Logic, Preferences, Display, and it says Show Help Tags. Turn that off. Now, when you're selecting, you can move freely and precisely, and there's nothing in your way. So that's tip number two. So once you have those things enabled, you find your exact points. That's the uh, and you just hit command tilde. And it moves everything over, remaining in sync between the speaker and the guest over time, which is really, really helpful to be fast because the marquee tool is cool, but it has some problems without these quick keys. To be after that, we were really just focused on monk food because the whole... Before the next tool, remember at the end of all your edits, you always got to fade your audio with all cuts or you're going to get those clicks and pops. So then the next little tip here to help things go faster is enabling Verispeed, which helps you speed things up while you're scrubbing through to save time but not lose efficiency and effectiveness. So grab your little dialog box or display up here. I like to toggle down the disclosure triangle and hit custom, giving you a lot more information that's pertinent to podcasts, specifically time, because you don't care about tempo or anything musical for a podcast. Then right click up here in the very top bar of Logic, hit customize control bar and display, down here in the middle under LCD, you're going to find Verispeed. Turn it on, you see it shows up right above. Now this is exactly where you toggle it to how fast you want it to go. So 50% is going to be 50% faster. And you can type that in or scroll it and you just listen through. Here to be after that, we were really just focused on monk food because the whole idea... So you'll be editing essentially twice as fast with that Verispeed, but to turn it on and off is very cumbersome because there's a button here. So here's a quick, quick key for you. Quick, quick key. So go back up to Logic down to key commands, into edit. And then you see all of them there. Search for Verispeed. There it is, toggle Verispeed. And we're gonna do learn by key, blah, blah. we're gonna do learn by key position. Hit the letter K. K is used as a quick key to turn the metronome on and off in Logic by default. 
This is not important for a podcast, so I use it for Verispeed. That way, when you're scrubbing through regular we were speed, really just focused on monk food because you can just quickly hit K and Verispeed's on. We were really just focused on monk food because. The- and then you can go up here if you really got clear stuff that's easy to hear and comprehend. Go to 100 percent, speed it way up. Listen to that. We were really just focused on monk food because the whole idea is you cook from who you are. So it wasn't going to be like Spanish tapas. It wasn't, you know, Texas barbecue. It wasn't that kind of food. It was monk food. Then hit K, slow it back down. There was a you know in there that I really didn't like. We were really just focused on monk food because it wasn't, you know. So look, here's where we're going to use our marquee trick again. So this little you know he says, which sounds like it's right there, I don't think is necessary and could really speed things up if we kill it. So let's use all the tools that we've just enabled. Because it wasn't, you know, Texas barbecue. What? There's even a breath in there. So we're going to hit T and R to get to our marquee. And it slides smoothly because we've turned off snapping. We've turned off those little help boxes. And then hit Command tilde for delete and move. And listen. Spanish tapas. It wasn't Texas barbecue. It wasn't that kind of food. It, it was monk food. And there you have it. That's it, friend. Simple as that. Get those four things going for you to edit your podcast faster in Logic Pro X. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.